know y'all girl got a five head. I know you see the glorious, beautiful forehead. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. Hey humans, welcome back to another video. So if you already read the title, I'm going to be doing six looks I like to do on my hair when it is ready for a retwist and I just don't want to retwist it. Um, just like my go-to everyday looks. Um, so we're just going to get right into the video. Okay, first, when um, I do want to do like a small um, style or put it up or anything, um, when I need a retwist, I always make sure my hair is wet because you don't want to do this dry because you don't want it to pull or snag you want to you know bring some moisture to your locks um so i'm just gonna spray my hair real quick and i hope it doesn't jack up my makeup um but yeah we're gonna spray this ooh, spray this a little bit i do i need to get the continuous spray um spray bottle but yeah we're just gonna make sure this is Nice and moisturized. You don't want it to be saturated, more of just like a, a dampness. So my hair is nice and damp. So the first look we're actually gonna start off with is this. This is my literally everyday look. Um, it is my, um, my, my hair is fully down and it's in the middle with a small middle part. So my hair is not like when I got my locks my cousin did my locks and it's not like where everything's perfectly even and everything so i have this cute little middle part and then it don't like go it's not a straight middle part basically but it's basically this is what it is this is my go-to and i always make sure these four locks these two right here are always in the front like these are my favorite locks you guys see these in my face all the time when it comes to hairstyles but yeah this is look number one it's basically a straight sleek middle part with my locks and i always bring it to the back or i'll do this but it's all my hair down in a middle part now that brings us to style number two where it's actually what's all my hair down but then i put it into a side part and most of the time you know my edges are done um, but I bring everything to the side and actually what I kind of do is I just bring my hair behind my ear so that it will define this little part right here. But I did my edges so that my hair could be in the front. But yeah, so this is look number two where my hair is all the way down and I just have like this little side part right here. And I put all my hair behind my ear and my hair is all different types of lengths so it looks like it's just like a layered um look this is actually when i first got my locks this is my favorite look um especially when they were sh really short oh, i miss it with my hair so when they were really short i would do like a side um look and i would make sure like my these were in my face like i had a little bang um but that's look number two um and that kind of just brings into look number three it's actually quite simple so all of these looks are super simple to be completely honest um but that brings us to look number three and my slow self definitely didn't have a rubber like a hair binder ready um to go so let me get some of this out of my little box down there but this one is I have to find the right hair binder. These ones are actually all the hair binders I don't use anymore. Are you gonna? Cause none of them have enough snag in them. Are oh, you big? Oh, you're little. Are you gonna work? Nope, you're not gonna work either. Wow, I don't feel like getting up to go do this. And I think all of these are gonna be too small and they're gonna break. All these daggone hair binders. I mean, this one will work. Yeah, I'll just use that. All these can go in the trash. Okay, so look number three. We've already done one, which was the middle part, two, which is the side part. Now look number three. So basically all you do for number three is your hair, my hair is already behind my ear. So I just slick it back and I bring it down and you want to bring it down to right here and I'm not going to show you on my kitchen because baby my kitchen look a mess 
but you bring it down here because what you want to do is do a side part low ponytail and what I do is I bring it around just so it can feel like I have like a little swoop you're gonna just no and you're gonna bring it like this and I most of the time when I do the swoop I have to um, put a bobby pin right there because my hair doesn't all stay all the way in and then you just bring it back and I don't like to do my hair too tight when it needs a retwist. I don't like to put my hair in a ponytail tight regardless because it'd be giving me a daggone headache and then so I do two little loopy loops and then that is it so what you have is a very low sleek side part pony I'll show you guys the back don't come from my kitchen don't come for it okay um ooh, just probably drops so this is the back it's literally a simple very simple side part ponytail um and sometimes what i do is if i don't want it to be like a ponytail like this i'll actually if i have enough tug in my rubber band i will actually go like this and twist it into a nice little bunny on them. So I think this could bring it to four. I didn't even put this in one that I could do, but you could bring it into a low bun. Let's see if it work. Are you gonna work? Are you gonna work with me? Cause sometimes it doesn't work the way that I want it to, like a messy low bun because I do, okay, not all of those. I like it when some of my locks are sticking out of my bun. When I want it to be more messy, um, I don't always like it to be super put together and everything. So there goes that. And then you have a nice low bun here. Let me do it from the side, yeah, a low bun. Um, so that's an option too. That's what I do with my low aside part. The next one is actually a low pony, but it's a middle part. And it does give a totally different look. Essentially, most of these hairstyles, I'm just changing my parts. It is a low part, so I have like my little middle right here. <laughs> little middle. <laughs> that rhymes, I'm so corny. Um, and for this one, I have two different ways I do this. So I do it where it's all pulled back and I rarely do it all pulled back because <sighs> y'all know y'all girl got a five head. I know you see the glorious, beautiful forehead up here and I don't like pulling my hair all the way back all the time without putting anything in it um putting anything, anything in front of my face because it just one glorifies how humongous my hair is, my forehead is but sometimes when i don't have on makeup i kind of look like a guy so i don't like to do it without like without hair in the front and i'll show you what i mean but yeah this is just the low ponytail and i usually wear it like this where my hair is just in the front and I can't wait until my hair gets longer, but it looks really pretty when my hair is curled or when it's crinkly after taking some braids out. But this is my low pony um, with the middle part. And what I normally do is I actually bring, remember when I said in the beginning, I have my four that are my favorite. I bring these two, so I'll do it with a two, um, but then sometimes I like to do it with a four and I bring these four. And then I have the four in the front. So it kind of gives a little bit more, uh, more hair, you know, cause you're trying to do the illusion with what people do with their curly hair and their straight hair with locks. So I like the two more than I like the one sometimes just because I feel like it's bringing more hair. Uh, but I think, what are we on? Look, four or five? I don't remember. I'm gonna put down the looks at the bottom, but I literally don't remember which one we're at. But uh, so the next one is, what is the next one? The next one is where I actually put it in a high bun. And it's, um, or actually no, I won't do that one. I'll do this one for the next one because I have my two in the front. Now for this hair look, I normally always have these in the front. So this is the half up, half down. And what I do is I do half of my hair up like this. And I actually like to bring these down and get them. Oop, not that one, not that one. 
there we go. I just like to keep one down and clearly I need it to be retwisted. So I just twist it a little bit, not too tight, just so it looks a little bit cleaner. And then I do this one too, because y'all know I really only retwist my hair every two months. It, it, it doesn't get no better than that. Um, and then I just do this one. Essentially, I would do this with a black rubber band or with, um, they have like colored rubber bands so it can match my hair better. Cause this, this ain't it, I don't like that. Um, and then I just bring it to the front and bring my hair to the front. And this is another go-to style that I go to all the time. It's my half up, half down. I actually have started to embrace this style a little bit more. Um, sometimes I used to think that it was really childish and I think it's so cute. I think I said I had six hairstyles and I know this is way more than six. This is probably gonna be like 10. Yeah, probably 10. <laughs> but that is something else that I do. Another one that I do is a half up, half down bun. And I'll just bring this and then bring the rest of my hair around like so. And I will put, I have my phone up here. Bam, I do. I know y'all see me looking down. I'm actually looking at my <laughs> monitor to see what I look like and I keep forgetting to look up at the camera. Um, but yeah, and it's more of a bun. And I don't think that this rubber band is gonna have to say, this is such a loose rubber band. Oh, it will, it's gonna stay. Okay, cool. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna, are you? It worked out. Okay, most of the time this doesn't work out ever. It looks terrible, but this is another style that I do. Um, I do the half bun, half down, and I like this a lot as well, just because I can't get all of my hair to do this cute circled bun. I have not mastered that with all of this. It always looks, ugh, so I don't like doing it. Um, but that's another go-to as well. And I was gonna do the high pony, but I really only do that if I get really, really hot and I don't like it as much, not the high pony, the high bun, because it doesn't look good. Like I said, because I don't know how to do it properly. It just takes way too much time. It never looks like this. I always want it to look like this and it never looks like that. Um, so this is an option as well. And I did leave these two down. Most of the time I'll put these up, but I actually kind of like them down um, like that. So that's another option um, that I like to do when um, I'm ready for a retwist, but I don't want to do it yet. Um, and then my go-to, this is what I do all the time because I don't like my hair in my face, surprisingly, because I like these things in my face. I don't like my hair down or my hair in my face. I'm starting to like it a little bit more, but when I first got locks, I never wanted them in my face. I couldn't wait to get a darn ponytail to be able to put it in a ponytail. And now that my hair is long enough to go into a ponytail, I'm like, oh, I wish I still had my cute bob. But another thing that I do is I will bring my hair back like this and I call it the pull it back method, but it's not necessarily pull it back. So I don't have like, I don't really have a name for it. But what I do is I take, I used to do this with my box braids and that's when I decided I want a box because I love this out my box braids, but I'm going to try to get a little close. I take these three, one, two, three, do I want to take the three or the four? I'll take the four. So I take the four on my edges on each side. So one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Four. Ooh, my rice is done, y'all. Okay, okay. So sorry, I had to go take my rice off the stove. Y'all know if y'all making rice and you don't take it off the stove right away when the timer goes, your rice is gonna be destroyed. So, but um, like I said, I take the four. Oops. Nope. One, two. And this is when I want it to look like as sleek as possible, as nice as possible. Um, most of the time I don't really care from where I'm taking it. Cause I don't want that one. Which one do I want? 
Okay, we're just gonna pull it because this ain't working like how I like it to work. But what I do is I take my edges, the my side edges, and I take these and I get it, turn it around, and I tie it. And I'm not. And baby. <laughs> And I can bring my hair in the front or I can bring it in the back, but that is literally my go-to hair stock, especially when my hair is in my face and my hair is starting to piss me off and it's just doing too much, like if I'm cooking, when I'm working, when I'm working out and I don't want to put in a ponytail, I just literally tie it. And that was a thing I did when I had my box braids and sometimes I'll even do it when my hair is down. Let's see, and I'll bring it around like this. Bam. And I think I mainly like doing it like that because sometimes when I do it the other way, the you see the new growth. I know y'all see it. It just be, if you look at a mess. <laughs> but um, I swear I think I did 10 instead of six because I kind of incorporated the buns with them and I totally forgot about that. Let me just look on my sheet to make sure. Oh yeah, so I did every single one of them. So those are literally, I'm going to put down how many they are because I have miscounted how many I did. But those are my go-to styles when like I know I need to retwist my hair, but I'm not going to retwist my hair, but I still kind of want it to look nice and I wanted to, you know, give it, you know, make it look nice because sometimes my hair be looking real bogus. But I have learned how to fix that. Um, I have a morning routine that I do every day now that I didn't used to do before. I've incorporated it within the past month and now I'm more comfortable with like actually going out looking like this. Um, and like my edges are done a little bit, but like it's not as before it would just look dry and I would look homeless or I would look not put together. And I don't like retwisting my hair all the time just because one, my hair is colored, so I'm already putting a whole bunch of strain on my locks anyways. And two, I know that when I, like some of my locks, when I got them done, um, like the ones in the front are super small. Like my smallest one is right here. It's my longest one, but it's my smallest one and it has it's been pushing through because I didn't think it was gonna lock. But like it's super skinny and I don't like, this is what it looks like when it's retwisted. Like super skinny and I don't like retwisting it. So I just, for me and my own personal lock journey, I just don't like retwisting my hair that much. I, the longest I've gone is I went four months without retwisting my hair. I like my hair to, you know, get up enough new growth before I retwist. Sometimes I'll retwist on like special occasions, but then sometimes I won't either. I will slick this baby back and pull it back in a ponytail or I'll go like this. Or what I will do sometimes is I'll get my hair wet and I'll braid it and give a crinkle look. But yeah, y'all know I don't like retwisting my hair. It's not a thing. I absolutely hate to that part of doing my hair because it takes so long, but I don't know. I always like the, like this, like the, not the rougher, but the, I've had my, you know, hair retwisted, but the new growth, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but I hate it when my hair is freshly retwisted because I don't like looking at my scalp. That's what it is. I hate looking at my scalp. I don't know what it is, but I always think my hair looks better like this. Even when I had box braids, I hated having fresh braids. Like two weeks in, and that's when I loved my braids the most because like you have like the low hairs and that'd be irritating the hell out of people, but it, I love it. I, I hate it when my hair is super fresh. So anyways i'm not gonna continue rambling but that those are like my go-to styles when i need a retwist now when my hair is retwisted i have three styles that i love doing like i think it's space buns bantu knots and um the bun like the top knot bun i love doing those because they look so much sleeker with my um with my retwist i used to do the space buns um when my hair was like this but now it doesn't look 
I don't know, I just don't really like the look. And then the um, Bantu knots, I don't like doing it when my hair is like this because you wanna see the bomb parts of the Bantu knots. So yeah, I actually am going to do um, my Bantu knots when I retwist my hair in another two weeks because it's been two months. Has it been two months? I think it's only been a month. I'm gonna wait another month. I think the last time I retwisted it was when I did that flower. It's only been a month. So yeah, um, probably not going to retwist it for a little bit of time. Um, my lock ladies or my lock guys, um, actually put down in the comments, how often do you retwist your hair? Because I know some people do every two weeks, some people do every two months, every month. I know a person who doesn't, who retwists it once a year. Yes, that's, to me that's a little drastic because my hair would start locking into like one big thing. But yeah, I know a guy who retwists his hair once a year um, and I know a young lady who does hers twice a year, every six months. So yeah, so just put down in the comments how often you guys um, retwist your hair. Um, but other than that, thanks so much for tuning into this quick video. I hope it was quick. I hope it wasn't longer than 25 minutes <laughs> i'm talking too much but um make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel if you love videos about um locks beauty and fashion stay tuned for a new video i will see you guys in another time bye humans what the fudge <laughs> whatever bye y'all i will see y'all in another video i did the peace sign again